There. We're lost and up, guys? we just wanted to say hello and say what's up to everyone who's in quarantine at home right now. Um, I, we just added some new friends to our cylinder tank and this is a banded eel. He's really cool. I'm hoping he'll transition uh, well. We he did reminds just, me of a cobra honestly with his hood and stuff like that. Yeah, he with does. Gills or whatever. He does have a really cool look to him. Ed, see if you can grab me the um, camera lens. Oh, yeah, yeah, the polyp lens. Yep, our polyp lens, so we can see it better. Um, all our lights are on schedule, so it makes it a little hard when we do videos. So, we'll put this thing on. Sweet. And if you don't have one of these things, guys, uh, we sell them. They're absolutely incredible for your cell phone. This is the polyp lens, polyp lab lens. There you go. What's going on, Calypso Reef? Reef? All right, let's put this on. There we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope this eel makes it, man. Yeah, the pearl tank was swimming. Oh Oops. my gosh, the trigger just wow. crashed into the puffer. <laughs> he's really cool. This porcupine, he's super dope. I can't believe how much those angelfish pick at the rocks. Man, I can't believe those domino dancers are still alive. Yep. And this purple tang thinks yeah, he's dude, champ. Look at how much those parrotfish are picking at the back. Oh yeah, it's incredible. Yes, we definitely should do a pop lens giveaway. Everyone needs one. Yep, definitely. Everybody does. But he is so freaking cool. Okay, so if you read the title of this video, um, I am putting in a sand waterfall in here and we're gonna make it incredible. Yeah, the eel's pattern, oh my gosh, I had to get one. I had one in my other tank, but I think the other eels ate him because I've never found him. Either that or he climbed through the little hole in the top of the tank. But um, yeah, he's crazy. His patterns are, not only is he banded, but he's got dots on him. It just looks amazing. Super cool. Yeah, this tank right now is pretty interesting because <laughs> the fish that we're putting in here we do not know if they belong together, how they're going to react together. I mean, look at this guy in the corner. He's eating four or five silver sides at a time. And it would very, very, um, wouldn't cost him much energy at all to swallow one of these damsels. Yep, or a parrotfish, probably. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he could pretty much swallow whatever he wants in here. He's pretty big. Man, that trigger loves the camera. He's like zooming around all of a sudden. Mm. Oh, they are. I actually wanted to get some more. They had some really pretty ones. Um, those are the cheap ones. I hate to say it. They have some of the like rainbow parrotfish. Yeah. But I forgot I had this thing in my pocket. We should check it out. So this is the sand waterfall inductor nozzle that I have. This is something that you can slip inside the PVC pipe. And this will give your sand waterfall its power. So we were testing one out over here. So you can excuse the cloudy mess. Um, we were just dumping sand from the substrate. Um, not clean sand, so it kind of looks dirty, but it works and it looks awesome. So I'm going to show you guys real quick just for fun. Um, so let's see how it goes. So I filled up a bucket with sand already and I printed out this funnel and I printed out the piece and there's PVC plumbing and stuff in here. So I'm just going to dump this whole thing in here. All right, look at all that. Bam, dumped it all up in there <laughs> and it just comes out. So I'm going to make rock work. Now this is the naked PVC version, right? But I'm going to make the rock work around it so it looks all natural and pretty and stuff. So right now this is just proof of concept for the inductor piece. So we 3D printed it to give us an extra kick and some more velocity. Now this is a very fine, very fine sand. Um, so we're going to test it out with some larger granules and see how it performs as well. Um, you know, pump size and the diameter of the tubing makes all the difference too as well. So you basically have to calibrate the system for the size of the sand and how far you're going to lift it. So it's pretty cool. I mean, look at it running. It's size. I don't know if you guys can see through there with the cloudy mess, um, but it runs awesome. So imagine some rocks and that sand just running through and falling down and cascading over the rocks. So it's going to be awesome. I'm actually very, very excited for it. 
So it's going to be a masterpiece when you come through here and you see the cylinder tank and it's got the white sand in it and all these crazy fish and we're going to have a Niagara Falls style avalanche coming out the back. So it'll be pretty cool. Whoops. Sorry, camera. Sorry, camera. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to see how that's going to get, yeah, turn out. I, I am loving this tank so far, guys. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I didn't think I was going to like it. I absolutely hated this tank because as a maintenance standpoint, it's terrible. <laughs> it's not a good tank because you the top, the lights, I mean, there's no way to access it without. There's a little feeding hole up top there, but um, it's not <laughs> it's not very easy, especially with the larger fish that you like to feed. So I'm going to do some custom fabrications and cut the hole in the top, hang a light from the ceiling, and make that probably on a pulley system so it can raise up and down. But imagine this giant waterfall in here just kicking it. Um, and this thing over here, like I said, I'm missing half the bucket. I spilled all my sand out already, but it just, the inductor piece works. It runs, I'm very happy with it. Now I just have to aim the sand and get it back into the catch. So as long as it can reach the bottom and run down the rocks, it'll look pretty. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. All right, I have to rinse my hands. <laughs> Hey, hey, do me a favor. Just take the camera for me for a second. And the pop lab, lab lens is still on, so if you want to oh, show gotcha. them some mushrooms, you can go show them some mushrooms. Yeah. Awesome. So we got, you actually cut some mushrooms not too long ago, guys. That's so cool. Can't wait to see this. Excellent work. Videos are coming along well. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, that's cool. Can't wait to see a full set of rocks. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, guys, we got some killer fire mushrooms right here. Uh, nice little Yuma over there. It was, it was actually mine, but uh, anyways, to the nice mushrooms. We got the Candy Crush, the Sunkissed Bounce, all sorts of Echolectus and stuff at killer prices, right, Dan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we just cut a few of these right here. And yeah, even on the with the Pop Lab ones, they look really insane. Oh, the camera yeah, is really doing Yeah, justice. I wish you guys, I wish you guys could see them in person. The camera doesn't do them justice. Nearly. Yeah, well, where's the one I'm trying to point to? Uh, uh, that one over there. Yeah, the it's bounce look like so, this. <laughs> it's so crazy looking. Yeah. Yeah, that one actually has bubbles on it, or like white bubbles, so we're hoping that it'll turn into something more. Oh, yeah. I, I love it. We're going to keep feeding them. We got the new AB+. Plus. Um, that Red Sea formula is pretty amazing, yep. and we got a lot of great feedback already with it, so we're going to keep dosing. And hopefully, the Reef Energy, as you can this. Yeah. If anyone hasn't used it yet, check it out. Yeah, this is very cool stuff, guys. This is the Reef Energy Plus, AB Plus. Um, very good stuff. All in one supplement, guys. Check it out. We're offering sample bottles in the store here only for $12.99, guys. And we do have the bigger bottles over there if you guys are interested. So, yeah, check it out. Anything to add on that, Dan? No, I'm just debating if I should feed these guys again. They're just so freaking cool. I just can't believe how awesome he looks. Yeah, let's see if the eel or the parrot, or I mean, I mean, not the parrot, the puffer eat. Yeah. Why not? I gotta do it. Let's feed them. Yep. Okay, right, let's grab some of the reef frenzy and then, yep. um. Or why don't you try silver sides on the line? Oh, you fish. know what? Let's do that. Let's do silver sides. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, so, unfortunately, I have to take this thing off. Yep, unfortunately. Uh, Only downside of this tank. Set it over here. Now I have access to a hole in the top. <laughs> not a very big <laughs> hole, but... Yeah, guys, right. it's a pretty small hole. I'm not you sure if awesome you guys can feeders. see that, but yeah, it's yeah, it's a very small hole. Show the cool tweezers that. Cool tweezers. Oh, yeah. These things are awesome. These were hydro dipped. Anyone ever seen hydro dipping? Like show up on camera, but they're awesome. I love these things. Yeah, it shows so we'll, up well. We'll get some silver sides and we'll feed them through here. Uh, awesome. So we'll yeah. set that there. The predator fish. Yeah. They're like solid in a rock. Oh wow, there's a pile of crickets up there that Patrick hasn't eaten yet. Oh, we did put in like 50. Yeah, we did put in like 50 though, you're right. There's Bruce, he's doing well. Um, Frosty doing well. Oh, 
Yeah, guys, my, my chameleons at home have been doing well, too, actually. Yeah, they're not small. These are the silver size. I don't know if you guys can see yeah, them. Yeah, they, the they're not small. Like, they're literally like a finger, basically. And right, Dan? They're, they're about a finger, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like four of them in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to go take some reed frenzy and just melt it up there in my hand. Yep. I'll just let it do its thing. Alright, let me get some food. I'm gonna feed this just a yeah. little teaser. Yeah, just a little teaser, guys. Uh, lately, they've been getting a ton of this stuff. This is the yep. LRS Reef Frenzy. Yeah, very cool food. Look at the trigger. Yeah, it's so cool. Dude, he's unbelievable. Hey, how's it going? Uh, oh my gosh, the lion water. fish is hard. Uh oh. Dude, he's gonna he chomp somebody. He didn't, he ate like a few number of them. Oh, okay. They left a lot of them. The water, there's a water over the block. There's a really small water. I don't get the oh. fish. But some of them died, and I think like, that all the fish fish. fish <laughs> you fill the water. I can never get it. Every day, you know, piece of water. Just, Bark, right, you take this. I'm gonna, I'll take this. Yeah. You can bark, help your friend. Yeah. The problem is he's got this stuff on top of his head. It's like Wait, the crocodile? Yeah, or the alligator. Alligator. It's like a green kind of goes to bread. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Really? Yeah, me and Ryan. Hey, it's check that friend door. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm from. Being around. This is better than the water. The water just got hot. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to take this guy out. This this food is so cold, I can't even hold it. I need a magnetic float, something to put in here so I can watch for meat. It is really cool. Oh. You need the you need the <laughs> Oh, um, I used it for the lights over there. I had off to go get that. This purple tang is awesome. He's so friendly compared to that little guy over there. He has no problem being part of a community. With that little purple tang, he chases everybody around. So every fish has its own personality. It doesn't matter what kind of fish it is. It just depends on which fish you're lucky to get. You either get one with a chill personality or you get a crazy fish. So. But yeah, the silver sides are melting. So we'll feed them in a second. But that little clownfish is so cool. I love the coloration on him. He's got these really cool lines on his tail. Look at him trying to swim. I guess the current's pretty tough right now. You want the dechlorinator. Well, at least I don't have to worry now about putting my fingers in here because the trigger before would just take a chunk out of my finger. Nobody in here can do any damage right now, which is pretty good. So I don't have to worry about my fingers this time. So, all right, so let's put a little bit more food in there. This guy over here, the second he um, smells that food, he comes running out. These serpent starfish are one of my favorites. So I have a couple of them hiding in here, and they are fast. When they want to get up and move, they can definitely move. So there they are. And I try to keep a couple of them in each tank. So, of course, I'm blocking the light on this one. I had nowhere else to put that thing, and I wouldn't want to step on it, so... This is why I like simple damsels and just having a school of cheap fish. Because they look beautiful. You don't have to do anything. You just feed them. They're awesome. Just mix a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and those damsels get along. If you have one or two, then they fight like crazy. There's my fire shrimp. That guy's cool. <laughs> he took a little ride.
All right, let me check those silver sides. They should be solved by now. Yeah, look at that. These things are huge. Um, but since we've already been eating them, he's just used to it. I think he appreciates it. Okay, so we're gonna, it's like ice fishing over here, just backwards. I'm putting the fish in the hole. <laughs> And that trigger right away comes up, takes a chunk out. He's when I was telling you, you got to watch out for your fingers. He does not know the difference between fish food and fingers. <laughs> he has so much fun with it. Now, once the lion fish catches wind, he will come over. But we did feed him a lot earlier, so he may just be kind of full. All right, I'll let them have one. Let's see if it sinks. The problem is when you the frozen ones, they always float to the top and they stick to the overflow. So you have to kind of like weight these things down. I need to make some kind of little like anchor so that the fish can feed off of them and I can just drop it down. The only problem is getting that anchor back up to the top. So I would have to have a string on it or something. Yep, there's the eye. He took it right out of his face. Good old trigger. Yeah, that puffer is so cool. That purple tang is gonna mess with the wrong fish and he's gonna get bit. <laughs> don't don't play with that porcupine puffer. Oh my gosh. Alright. So eventually, like I said, the lionfish will catch wind of that and it's game on. As soon as he sees it. Oh, oh, oh. I can't tell the cylinder tank where I am at this moment um, if I'm in a good position but he looks like he wants to strike well wow, I'm freaking him out with the camera go get it buddy come on um, Matt, I forget the name of the puffer, I have to check, but there's two different types of porcupine puffers. Um, there's the ones with the spiny, it's called a spiny box puffer, I'm assuming. Come on, lionfish, what is your issue? I swear it's within reach. Nope. The current took it, that's the problem. Yeah, he's a little chill guy, that little porcupine puffer. Oops. He doesn't like to be in front of the camera. And that lionfish is just chilling. He must be so full right now, he is not in the mood to chase anything. But yeah, I love that guy. Lots of personality, a little porcupine puffer. So. All right, I'm going to throw in the last of these food, then I'm going to go get myself my own food. Um, we were starting to set this thing up and didn't get a chance to finish. So we will have a trident soon. And there is a reef lobster, a purple reef lobster, somewhere at the bottom of here. He always comes out the second I drop the food. <laughs> There's a couple fish heads left in there. That sea cucumber, I find him in a different spot every day. It doesn't matter where. Oh, go ahead. See him under the rocks? It's a very interesting spot for him. Oh, there's the reef lobster. He's under that rock. 
A little too dark to see him though. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, so anyway, that's, uh, <laughs> I get lost when I'm doing something, I'm in thought and I don't talk. I was watching the fish eat. It's actually very peaceful and serene. You just don't need to, um, oops, think too much. These guys are cool. Love that sailfin tank. Engineer gobies over here. Those things are super cool. But, very cool hippo tang. Clownfish. Um, we got... 24 and 24. 24. Oh, so we got 48? Yes. Oh, cool. So, how many do you want to sell? Or can you sell? Um, I mean, you could sell 36. You can just keep 12. 36? All right. Yeah, keep 12 for Eliza. Cool. In case she's watching, she will kill me. Yeah. Um, yep, they need, need to bring them home tonight for our reptiles at home. We have so many animals, it's unbelievable. Uh, Trying to remember who's feeding what and... How many people ate what and all that good stuff. That's why I like these little cricket boxes. Oh no, Liza, what'd you say? How many? She is watching. I knew it, Ed. Save 24 or 12, Liza. I'm listening. Your text came up on the screen and it's like disappeared. <laughs> Didn't help too much, but um. But yeah, so that's that. Alright, and our fogger seems to be working fine over here. Okay, Liza, thank you so much. Ooh, I love it. Of course, the lights are off. It must be that time of day again. I need to put some moonlighting in here. Let's see, do I have any water left in? Yeah, I got a little bit of water. <clears throat> now, in a perfect world, every single tank would have a drain in a in a water line installed so you can do water changes instantly all right i love the smell of this it's like a rainstorm anytime you get um claustrophobic and you're tired of being at home you can come by and you can smell our powderium it's like a tropical vacation <laughs> So, all right, so that's that. I'll come back to that in a minute. Let me turn this other switch off. So, Lysa, if you're still watching, the sand waterfall was pretty awesome, great success, and everything worked exactly as I wanted it. So once that cloudiness goes down, uh, we will start finalizing our design. And I'm actually gonna make something instead of like, before I had it rolling down, I think I'm going to do more of like a, a pool type atmosphere. So like this little waterfall thing, how it catches in the little pools and the water just runs down. I want to have little sand pools. So it kind of gives you like that time lapse uh, feeling with the grains of sand. So it'll be very interesting to see how that turns out. But what's up, Gabriel? It's good to see you, man. Everyone is here. Okay, so as soon as I'm done with this live stream, I am eating lasagna. Yeah, I did so I did order some. So now since, like I said, this is the sand, um, not clean. So this is all the like gunk and stuff from the bottom. But I had to test it out anyway since we're breaking this tank down. But the new inductor works like a champ. It is super freaking efficient and does not clog. So we're going to step it up and try, like I said, some extra thick granules. But I was just so happy to be able to print that out uh, right here. So it worked. And now I'm going to test it out. I, this was just, like I said, proof of concept. And now we're going to step it up to that tank over there. So with the white sand in that big cylinder tank, it is going to look stunning. So I already printed it out. Like I said, it's so much more efficient. It was like a 19-minute print on my uh, 3D printer. So, yeah, Liza, it's going to be awesome. Check the sand out here. It is white. It's beautiful. Um, ridiculous. So I'm going to make one of the best tanks I've ever made with this stuff. Um, so, yeah. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And then I'll step it up. Like, this one I know works. Like, I can do it with this sand. 
this sand here is like really chunky. I have done it, but I used a huge DC pump and it was the like uh, Jabo, I wanna say 6,000. So for a sand waterfall, that's like a return pump and it was kicking butt. Uh, that was in the bobbit worm tank, if you saw that video. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, what's the eel in the cylinder, Gabriel? This is a banded eel. I mean, he is freaking awesome. I don't think I've seen one this cool before. The coloration on them is stunning. Now, they don't normally adapt very well. Like I said, they're shipping, and I just pray to God this guy will survive and acclimate okay. But we did put him in this tank with all these other monsters, and so far, um, they seem to be under control. So, there's a little bit of everybody in here, and <laughs> we even got freshwater fish in here too, which is pretty crazy. So they were acclimated for saltwater. But that eel looks fake. Is that what you're saying? You don't think my eel's real? It's animatronics. You used to have a parrotfish. Dude, I didn't realize how amazing parrotfish are. Um, they're freaking incredible. The problem with having coral all the time is I don't get to enjoy all these other fish and things that I've always wanted. You need a predator tank, you need a SPS tank, a softies tank, you know, anemone tank. Oh, there's so many different kinds of tanks that we need. But, yeah, this thing's awesome. Parrot fish, he's keeping everything clean. So, I wanna zoom in on this. Let's see if I can do it. My fingers are all salty, but there he is. So he's a spiny box uh, porcupine puffer fish. He's not your regular porcupine that you're probably used to see with the porcupines tucked back. So he's got them up all the time and he's got a great pattern on them. So he's pretty beautiful. And we don't have to worry about the purple tang bothering him. I hope not. But that puffer needs a better hiding spot. Yeah, he does. Um, this tank needs some more rocks in here. Like literally I just did this the way real quickly. This was not thought out at all. We just set this rock work up, just like I said, this is all proof of concept until we um, get it together. So, but very cool, man, that fish. And the trigger is so happy. Since we put him in here, man, he's like probably become, I don't know, I wanna say like 10 times more happier, but he swims around like nuts. He didn't really do that in the other tank. So he's happy in the cylinder. But let's see what else. So, this thing here, which I love, it's crazy, right? All these bounce bubble mushrooms are on here. Um, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it, right? See the bubbles, bounce mushrooms? I think they're like uranium bounces, whatever they're called, but they're on a clam. So, you can see when I open the side over here, the mouth of it, it's breathing. Looks like it has teeth, it's pretty vicious. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? So, I thought it was a rock the whole time. I had no idea. Uh, yeah, Gabriel, the purple tang was nipping up all the damsels um, last night, but I think he's calmed down just because he ran into a couple of the wrong fish <laughs> and realized he can't do that. So, I'm hoping he stays that way and I don't see any more ripped fins this morning or tomorrow morning, but... But look at that, man. That lionfish is so majestic. I was so tempted to order more for here. I was like, oh man, I wanted to order another lionfish. They had a black volatan, and I wanted to put one in here, but I figured I would wait a little bit. See how these guys acclimate first. I don't, um, don't want them just turning, ganging up on everybody and eating all the little fish. So at least this guy came from a reef. So this is Ed's lionfish, so it came from a reef tank. Yeah, Gabriel, they definitely are. I have a kick-ass fox face over here, actually. Let me um, show you this fish. Where is he, where is he? Yeah, he sees me, he's like, I'm out of here. Yeah, his coloration can change. He's unbelievable, and he doesn't like me. But he's like one of those majestic fox fox faces and has some crazy colors on them. But. Alrighty, so that's our updates. Um, yep, Scorpion's trying to get out. He liked the crickets we gave him the other day. 
He was very thankful for that. But I did see something I've never seen before, and he was standing up on his tail, which is completely odd. He must either really want to get out or he was trying to escape, which isn't that far up. But he was standing on the end of his tail and was almost at the top. So I give him an A for effort. Uh, A is pretty cool. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Of course, there's a glare here on these guys, but they're super cool too. Axolotls, I just like them. Oh, he flickers his head. Very, very cool. So we just had more babies with them. Liza's doing a great job raising them, actually. I can't believe it. There's the mama and dad right here. We've had these for, I want to say like two years at least. They've moved around several times different tanks and they've laid lots of eggs, which I'm really impressed. I'm extremely impressed that they're uh, doing so well in here. One of the reasons they like this tank is because of the high evaporation rate, I guess because of the bubbles in the back and it keeps them a little bit colder. So they do like that. They like to stay nice and cool. But yeah, what's up, Ed? Oh man, what were you saying? Five? I said the next one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good price. Go for it. I think it's four to five. Is there two there? Yeah, there's two there. Give him two for one if you want. If he's interested. Yeah, where's my UV light? I haven't put one on here in a while. Yeah. When I come back for him for 45 bucks, I'll come back for him. Yeah. Not, not today. He is pretty crazy. Oh, he's man. under the rock. I can't, yeah. I can't get him today. I'll put him but, oh, right there. I might be back this week. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. He's crazy. Yeah, I can't get him today, but I'll come back for him um, like this week. or <laughs> I'll definitely buy him this week. Yeah. You, you hold on to him for him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's been there actually for a long time. Nobody even knows we have him. Yeah. He just um, keeps the kids' fingers out. And but anybody wants to pick up that jar, they're probably gonna drop it one of these days, but <laughs> alrighty. There he is. Oh, he saw me again. He's like He changes colors instantly. It's amazing. He was just like this beautiful stripes pattern and then he got all defensive. <clears throat> he he hides. He's like nothing to see here. Alright. Anyway, fox faces are awesome. They really do a good job. Um, really cool fish. So, all right. I'm closing up for the night. I think it's like 8 o'clock or something. I don't even know what time it is. Because my um, lens is blocking my clock. I got my Paul Black lens right over my clock. All right. There we go. So, it's 6.43. We close in a few minutes. Um, so, that's good. Use my time wisely. Uh, I will finish the apex insulation on this tank and I'm pretty excited, like I said, I'm going to start adding acros and then the next thing after the apex and then the system we have is going to be the calcium reactor. So I always had a calcium reactor on my SPS tanks and I definitely, definitely think that I'm going to have to run one. So dosing's cool, I'll do dosing on the other setups, but it's nice to know the difference between every setup and be familiar with each system. So I've always liked geo calcium reactors. I'll have to see what else is out there right now, what people like, uh, what people are using. So if any of you have a calcium reactor, feel free to uh, share the information. So, oh, Gabriel, I appreciate that, man. You know, I do them just for you. It is nice when people appreciate the stuff you do. <laughs> but uh, I try to do more, but we really do get bombarded. It's nuts. It doesn't matter what time of day I come. I feel like the door, I, I wonder, what happens when I'm not here? How many times people knock on the door? Because all you hear is people knock on the window. Um, doesn't matter if we're not open or not. I'll just hear people knocking. <laughs> so it's good. It's good. Got to get your uh, LFS fix, you know. So. And these parrotfish are always so chill. Such a cool tank. Really is awesome. I have the best Placos in here. And of course they're shy too, so they're always hiding. 
but there's a blue phantom, uh, blue spotted phantom Placo, and he's just absolutely cool. So I'm not really a freshwater person, but this tank, I appreciate. I really do like it. So, hmm. There's a lot of freshwater tanks out there that are just unbelievable. I just don't um, spend enough time taking care of them. That's why I watch Serpa Design. If you guys are into freshwater stuff and the planted terrariums and all that stuff, check out uh, Serpa Design, the channel on YouTube. It's really cool. So, so yeah, so that's that. And I'll show you one more time. This is my little inductor nozzle that I printed. And we are testing that out right now with our sand waterfall. And by tomorrow, I will have this running. Um, I just didn't want to freak out all our new buddies when I put in the sand waterfall. Um, I know they're going to like freak out. So they're either going to love it because it's going to be like camouflage for them. So, so it'll be digging it. Um, let's put this back on. Polyp Lab lens. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Whoa. All right, this guy, I don't know why his head's so big. Uh, he must have swallowed something. It's like stuck in his throat. Looks like he's tried to small, swallow a small fish. <laughs> he's very hypnotic. The next thing to go in here eel-wise is going to be a blue ribbon eel. I absolutely love blue ribbon eels. So... Since this tank is like, like I said, the only spot where they can get out is this itty bitty little hole on top. And then you put the cover on here so I don't see any fish really escaping. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to put a blue ribbon in the eel in. So we took them to Reef of Palooza with us and they were like the best escape artists ever. I had a black and yellow one. I had a ghost ribbon. I had the blue ribbon. I had a bunch of different ones. And I come in in the morning and one of the eels had unfortunately jumped out the back of the tank and a quarter inch spot for the filter that I didn't even think he could get through. And he did. So, oh well. You live and learn. But, what's up Patrick? How you doing buddy? You're peeling again. I must mean you're growing. He's such a cool little chameleon. And I say little, he's one of the biggest ones of them. Um, but really cool. So, what else do we have around here? I know there's a million things I should do, but they're gonna wonder why I ordered food and didn't pick it up. It literally is an hour later. So, <laughs> I always say I'm gonna do an update and then like people just keep stopping by, stopping by. So that is a good thing. I do appreciate that. Um, people checking up on us and making sure we're doing okay. So, it is crazy times right now. So if anybody wants anything, if there's any products that you want that we can ship to you, just let us know, um, especially the bigger items. If you're looking for some lights, upgrades, sump, um, Boshi reactor, um, skimmer, whatever it is, we'll make sure we take care of you guys. So, all right, Liza, if you're still watching, what did you say? Did you start the red seat? Yeah, I did. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see. Um, like I said, I just turned down the lights on here, but... I want to see how fast I can cut these. And they're already astronomically huge. I mean, look at that thing. It's just draping over the plug. This thing is just massive, Gabriel. I don't know if I can show you through here. Um, these are half-inch racks. I mean, look at this thing. Gigantic. Gigantic. So I'm going to cut all these. That was the Dragon Lady. We cut it into three pieces. So the one's pretty big. That one's a little small. And that one's got the best color. It's the smallest. But um, I'm excited. So I'm going to keep using that AB and see what happens. So we have some sample sizes. And when I say sample sizes, they're um, I think like 12 ounces or something. But yeah, check it out. Reef Energy Plus, complete coral nutrition supplement. Um, it's pretty amazing. So, alrighty. That's my update. I think I can say goodbye. I'm trying to see what other nonsense I have over here. Oops. This is all my bag of PVC. I'm always drawing something or building something or doing something. Um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, this one has the inductor piece in it. As you can see, of course the light's not. I'll go right under here. So there you go. You can see the nozzle. What it does is it creates a high velocity current that pulls the sand into it. So this is actually used for a vacuum 
system. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, um, I want to call it the Viper something. I have them on the shelf somewhere over there. Um, but anyway, it's one of those systems for siphoning your tank. And I created one and just used it for the sand waterfall and it works fantastic. So, Liza, what did you say? Show the reptiles? Show the reptiles to pet paradise. I don't know what you're saying, but which reptiles? We got a lot of them. Mine, Ed's, the ones at home. Uh oh. Dude. I think he wants some water. Maybe I should give him a little drink. There's a juicy cricket right behind him. I think he's had enough. He ate them all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So, let's say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our friends and family. Hmm. Anybody remember that? M I C K E Y M O U S E. Mickey Mouse. All right. So, I was waiting for Ed to finish his conversation, but he's taking a little bit longer than I thought. So, I am still here and, you know, just entertaining you guys. <laughs> but I'm going to say goodbye now for real, real. Um, Asian Force Scorpion. I wish I knew what kind of scorpion that was. Um, honestly, don't know. I'll have to ask Eric. He was the one that would know. But, yeah. We're trying to move some of the scorpions. So if anybody's interested, we will um, hook you up with a decent deal on a scorpion. <laughs> I think he's thirsty. I should spray some water in there. Um, yeah, Gabriel. <laughs> Take it way back. Oh, man. So, I feel like I lost something. Like, I lost my keys. Yeah, Eliza, scorpion's not a reptile. At least that's what they're saying. Ooh, someone just snatched the fish. So, he did throw in silver sides. A little free-for-all. I definitely want to put, like, something big in here. Something like a um, lobster. But I don't want to... I know the trigger's going to go after anything. So, if it's too big, he'll kill everybody. And if he's too small... They'll kill him. So it's like, damn. Maybe like a giant serpent starfish, a brittle star. I wonder if they would be okay with one of them. Maybe a chocolate chip starfish, something. So, so we'll see. Hmm. <laughs> I gotta move this light too. I've been meaning to change this thing forever. We just hug it up there and forgot about it. This old, was it T8 fixture, T5? I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've used one of those. <laughs> but, uh, so let's see. All right, Liza, so do you want me to bring these things home tonight? These worms, these things grow fast. Yeah, they do, Dan. All right, Ed, I'm going to go get food. I should just take the camera with me. I'll see what kind of service we get. I think I have my wallet somewhere outside. Hmm. 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 Yeah, what's that? Before you get out of here, what's this? Or how much is this? Oh, the dripper systems? Liza, the fluke strippers. Man, I have to check that out. I have to look at the computer real quick. Unless Liza answers in the next, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> I plug your strobe out of mine because we don't mind it. Oh, cool. Oh, Pet Paradise. How much for the scorpions, he asks. Um, honestly, do you know how to PM me? Can you PM on here? Uh, if you need them shipped or something, let me know. Um, I'll work something out with you. So you can message me on Instagram, Facebook. The store number, uh, info at Coralus.com, and I will give you the price for the scorpions and handling costs and all that stuff. So, definitely take care of you with that. Um, 
Oh, Liza, I forgot that was Cody, Pet Paradise. If that's who you're talking about. A raptor. I don't know. I'm seeing these things pop up and I forget who's who. <laughs> I'll have to ask. Um, so anyway, yep, I think I was on my way out of here to get food. Okay. There's the lens cover. I'm going to put that back on. Do I have to put on my face mask? Do I? Hmm. <laughs> ah, Barry. What's up, Barry? You're so you're so welcome. We appreciate giving you guys good service. We do try our best. Okay. I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get food. It's that time. At least it's not raining right now. It's been like a torrential downpour the last couple of days. So because it's that messy i got water bottles and tools and stuff everywhere <laughs> i got my mask i got my sunglasses so this is the life i'm living right now this is what's happening <laughs> all right so i got a wallet i got a credit card okay i missed um lunch earlier i say that like a it doesn't happen every other day, but I skip breakfast, lunch sometimes. Just... Hmm. So I dropped off probably the Wi-Fi and went to the cellular signal. So you're probably wondering why I'm driving to pick up my food when it's across the street, but you know, it's kind of a busy road sometimes. The Villa Pizza. This place is awesome. Me and Ed love the lasagna. It's our home cooked meal experience. So we don't try to eat Burger King or Wendy's or um, all that other stuff anymore. So I try to eat healthy. All right, I'm gonna run and grab the food. You guys can talk to each other and stare at this beautiful tree if you want to. No, I don't think it'll stay there. Will it? Mm-hmm. Actually, it will stay. How many people will I find when I come back? There are 12 people. If you guys keep talking to each other, it'll be a good time. Like I said, I'm going to go pick up my lasagna, and I'll be right back. So I got my mask. I'm back. Oh, there you go. Buckled it in. All good. Mask back. Ugh. I think it's M95 certified. Even though I've been using it now for like a week, I need to um, change that mask. It's terrible. <clears throat> Liza. Okay, I am back. So how many of you guys were talking to each other while I was gone? I hope you guys all made new friends, introduce each other. Um, you're having a good old time. Um, Gabriel's on still, Liza's here. Do not enter, what does that mean? Do not enter, do not enter. Hmm, so this was gonna be our other building. We actually looked at this building, but it was already rented out, or leased, I should say, before we got there. Um, I would have been very, very happy with that location. So, instead we went with the big one. 
even though I think we got all ceilings. Our whole, our whole location is just ceilings. Um, if it was flat spacer, it would be a little bit better. Okay. Mm-hmm. So there's stride. That place is awesome, but all gyms are closed, so that kind of stinks. There's our pet value. Um, Trey Spa. There's all our good stuff. Man, busy lot. Dang. Excuse me. Excuse me. Parking is a pain. Seriously. <laughs> I swear they could have just, like, made this place just a little bit more efficient the way it is to park. Even the dumpster. They could have put the dumpster somewhere else. Why did they put it right there? I kind of feel like they just didn't plan. They said, let's put an apartment right behind some businesses. Yeah, that was smart. <laughs> so literally, we have to um, load everything through a single door, which my next building will have two doors. Definitely double doors. So. <clears throat> All right, we made it. Look at that. That was an awesome trip. Thanks, guys, for coming with me. So now we are two lasagnas and two salads um, heavier so that's good and there's the van which is going to have decals on it by next week i swear i will do that maybe okay don't look don't look the car is a mess i apologize <laughs> so i'm going to eat this and hopefully ed is done cleaning up Let's see. Hey, what's up, Ed? Ed, what are you doing, Ed? Is it 7 o'clock yet? It's 7.03, Ed. Yep. Just kidding. It's all right. Do we have a place to eat up here? Mm. Look at all these goodies. Look at all these goodies we have over here. I absolutely love this. It just looks so pretty. Anybody want a um, viewing glass? That's pretty awesome. So. Mm -mm. Aww. It's that time. The lights are starting to go super blue. I do need to put some more extra rocks in there so they have a place to hide. Wow, that ain't sick, man. Yeah, I know. He looks Dude, unbelievable. I love him. I love him so much. I hope he stays. I really hope he's He looks right. like an underwater coat. He looks like a coral oh. snake almost. You know? Yeah. And that lionfish. He just hovers. He just does whatever like, he not wants. Not a coral snake, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, snake, oh, right? oh, 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 oh. Get it, get it. He's like, oh, as soon as I put the camera in his face, he gets all mad at me. <laughs> Don't Imagine interesting. the eel took a turn and got it. Yeah, so the shark, I was feeding them, and they try not to eat each other. They really do. They're good, good pets. Um, Liza says hi, Ed. Oh, hi, Liza. But so the eel I have at home, I have a big ghost ribbon eel, and I have Ed Shark, and he somehow managed to get the eel in his mouth and was swimming through the <laughs> tank like a piece of spaghetti coming out of his mouth. It was like crazy. And so I'm tapping on the glass as you do when your fish misbehave, and he spit him out, and I don't think he actually meant to bite him, but it happened. So he let him go. Yeah, he's so freaking cool. I, like he's the last one I had didn't have the dots on him. I don't Dude, think I know. he had so the cool. stripes, but not the dots. Like this guy has the dots. Yeah, the lionfish is crazy. I'm gonna have to go back and get the camera, um, get our pop lab lens again, just so you guys yeah. can see. Because I hate to tease you without that. Um, is the eel okay, uh, Gabriel? We just got him in today, so honestly, I don't know. Yeah, we, we are acclimating. Not sure. I mean, this he looks eel. like he has like a like. He looks like he has like some stuff on his neck or something yeah. stuck in his neck, but I don't know if that's just how they are though. We'll have to doctor do a little bit. Yep. Talk to the <laughs> seal. Like, tell me what's wrong. You swallowed a quarter sideways. That's what it looks like. Damn, he moves fast. Holy You moly. swallowed a tater tot. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he's cool. Yeah, unbelievably freaking cool oh, looking was fish. He gonna swim into a lionfish? Yeah, I mean, I've already seen fish bump into a lionfish twice. It is funny to watch them. They're like, shit, what did I do? So, all right, let me get that lens. 
Definitely need to see the lens. Yeah. All right. And then I can wait for my. You said if he ate, it will show. Oh yeah, yeah. The eel I have at home he eats. You can see right through him. Um, pop lens, pop lens. All right, Ed. Where'd you put um, it? I thought it was right here. I just put it over here. There it is. So. If you can. Oh, thank you, mostly Reese. All right, look at this. Look at him. Lionfish magic. Bam. Dude, he is so cool. And he, unbelievably fast swimmer, too. He's just chilling when he wants to right now. But if he sees some food and he wants to get it, he will boogie. So don't let those big fins fool you. He can actually swim. And he's got a lot of meat on him. So, yep. You'll find them all over the tank in different places. Oh, is, did he take a piece? Mm, that's our silver side. I'm waiting to see if the puffer gets to it. So the serpent starfish and the cucumber are under there together. That's pretty cool. There's our purple tang, the nice one, Mr. Friendly. Dude, this thing is so awesome. I love these rock flower anemones. They're just so pretty. Very easy to keep and very pretty. Yeah, I gotta start gluing some more zoas on here. I could use a heck of a lot more. These rocks look a little naked. But those pink pallies are gorgeous. Man, the color on them is... Oh, you just closed up on me. Yeah, I could look at these things forever. It's so peaceful. And this hammer over here. Anything that's multicolor, I just dig it. And I love the view through here. The rock's got a hole in it, and then there's all these bubble tip anemones on the other side. So, very peaceful. All right. The frenzy. It's like I walk by and they all separate. Disperse, disperse. They're all hanging out. They're all buddy buddy. They're all up each other's butts, and then I walk by and goodbye. They don't know each other. But yeah, they're all trying to eat that thing. Hmm. All right, I think I say bye-bye bu for real this time. Um, I think we're done. I think we're done here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, so we were having a little dinner party with um, Liza and her friends from work, and I'm showing everyone the store through the security camera, and all of a sudden I see the um, camera and this eel is on the floor going across. It is a um, blue ribbon eel, so I was really attached to this thing. Just a stunning piece, you know, specimen. And we just see it from the cameras up top going across the floor. So it surprisingly lasted out of water for, I would say, over a half hour. I mean, it had to have at least before we got there. I mean, I was driving fast and I did go through some of the lights, um, you know. But it was pretty intense and we saved the eel only to let him jump out another day so eels are notorious for jumping out you really have to have your system uh 100 protected before you think you're gonna have an eel and man this glass is dirty what is going on here we definitely have to clean this glass uh, all right yep. oh my gosh look who's over here they're like are you gonna feed me <laughs> feed, feed me ed you know what salmon pellets are yeah yeah right here. yeah Okay, let's see. Oh my Whoa. God, he's like a little vulture. He's gobble gobble. Wait, he ain't even done chewing. Bam. He's like, I'll get that. Up, oh, bouncing <laughs> on my head. All right, no more, I guess. Now nah, he was swallowing. Give, let's see over here. Right. Let's give the blondie. Let's give yep. a. Yep. I forget her name. Cam, or whatever. <laughs> oh, you got it. Good boy, sink. girl. Oh, nope, you oh, missed it. Missed. If it doesn't hit you in the face, what? You can't eat it? Seriously, where's those? Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. All right. You like hit me in the nose. 
Oh, no. Alright. Here we go. Oh, okay. yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, this guy's like over here. Cam, like, thank you, Liza. Look. <laughs> he just wants more. Oh, my oh. gosh. He's so big. <laughs> He's so funny. Uh, I do love the smell of the salmon pellets. They sound delicious. <laughs> Camel oddle. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, he's he's like, wait, wait, I gotta look. My eyes are small. My oh. eyes are really small. <laughs> yeah, he nailed that one. You need a haircut, buddy. Yeah, we all do during the coronavirus. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. All right, let's see who else. Who else needs to get fed? Uh, hmm. The, uh, the archer fish. Throw some in the archer fish. Yeah, yeah. They definitely need it. Salmon pellets. Yeah, yeah, I always like to give the salmon pellets to them. These guys over here feel bad. They they don't get the attention they deserve. Oh, what's up? Someone's been smoking it up. That thing is. <laughs> it's just vapor. It's just vapor. It's just vapor. We're not doing anything illegal. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they love it, man. Archer fish, these are Burmese archer fish, man. They're really cool, and they're known for spitting. These fish can spit up into the trees and knock the insect off, yep. um, and then knock them into you the water. Oh, we should, if we threw crickets in, they would go crazy. Dude, they love the crickets. Dude, we should have thrown like 10 crickets in here, just see what would have happened. Oh, no, they just don't eat them. They love yeah, it. Yeah, but I want to see it. We should, we should do that. that, actually, for one of our videos or whatever. This is like a scary yeah. movie just waiting to happen. Yeah. Oh yeah, Gabriel, I definitely need to. I've been wanting to remodel this tank. And I see, you know, Darth Vader's gonna come out. <laughs> yeah. This needs a little little bit of work. Um, yeah, I love it, but the plants are kind of too big. Whoops, I closed them backwards that time. Uh, yeah, the plants literally are coming out. I can't even open the door without the plants coming out. So I kind of want to oh, do let me, some. Let me see the if the damsels will eat. Yeah. Go for it. You can feed the damsels. Oh, yeah. Actually, I shouldn't have used these big sand and That's all right. That's all right. It's okay for them to I mean, eat. They are eating, though. Little baby hippo tank that just took off in the back somewhere. But, all right. So, I'm saying goodbye again. This is what takes me forever. All right. He's, he's going to bed now. He's in his little rock, so he's happy. Yep. He's Hopefully well they. Eel will find a spot that I hope doesn't. He survives. I'm praying to God. That thing's so cool. Bro. Yeah, eels are notorious for trying to escape everything. Yep, that's what they do. So, <laughs> if the hole is big enough for him to get through, he'll find a way. Man, the colors on him—it just. Yeah, dude. I don't remember there being dots on the last one. Yeah. Like he's striped, he's banded with dots. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, all right, everybody. Oh, there's my little little guy. Woo! Wow, he's fast. Damn! You're right. Normally they don't have that look. Normally they don't have that pattern. Yeah. There's, there was one that Dude, that's one hard. image that I saw with the pat. There's one that has it. Really? Oh, sweet. But See, you never know until you know. Maybe it's a boy? Maybe it's a rare morph or something. Who knows? Or a natural mutation. Alright, I gotta turn these lights off. It's time. It's time. I'm gonna eat my Whoa. food now. What? There's it's... one like this, dude. It's like almost a reverse or like a oh, yeah. mutation. Yeah, it is. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm thinking of ball pipe notes too much, but. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Is there a little clowny? He's like, don't look at me. Don't look at me. All right, everybody. Get out of here. Love this Crown Royal Toadstool leather, and it's got a little finger coming off the side. Yep, and there's actually an anemone off the side, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know that green bubble tip anemone is living off the side of that thing. Yeah. And Sea Apple moved over here now, so he's up in the middle, wherever I'm pointing. You can barely see him. He's hiding. <laughs> yeah. All right, Liza, I'm going to head home in a few. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing your evening with us. We yeah, really appreciate so much, it. Guys.
If you have any questions, like I said, feel free to ask and we will do our best to answer them for you. Um, if you have any questions about equipment, installations, water testing, anything like that. <coughs> Corona cough. Huh. What's up, buddy? Hey, what up? He looks like he's trying to say something. I don't know what he's saying, but I guess it's goodbye. <laughs>